Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are going to discuss the Hulk and some of Bruce Banner's well-kept secrets that very few people are aware of. If you think what's the big deal with the Hulk, he's a simple enough character. There's a scientist named Bruce Banner who turns into a big green monster when he's angry enough. Well, then be prepared to be amazed by how intricate and interesting Bruce Banner's Hulk is. And in case you have watched Endgame, which I'm pretty sure that you have, then you already know that Banner can exist in at least two Hulk forms. The Hulk that we saw in the first three Avengers movies was the Savage Hulk. He is the most famous version of the Hulk, but the one that we see in the end game is the Professor Hulk. So till now in the MCU, we have already seen two versions of Bruce Banner's Hulk. And let me tell you, there are at least seven more versions of Hulk that Bruce Banner can turn into. That's amazing, isn't it? Just to make it clear, we are not talking about alternate realities here and we'll just focus on Bruce Banner and ignore other people's Hulk like Red Hulk and She-Hulk. Now with that out of the way, let's get this video started. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. Bruce Banner had some serious mental problems and identity disorders thanks to his unpleasant childhood. He had trouble time growing up because of his abusive father. But anyways, he grows up to be a genius scientist with expertise in gamma radiations. Bruce Banner gains the ability to transform into Hulk when he gets caught in a gamma explosion while trying to save a kid. So yeah, all thanks to that kid for giving us the incredible Hulk. Ever since this incident, Hulk has manifested himself when either Banner's life is at risk or when he is too angry. And most of these times, as it turns out, we get the Green Savage Hulk, whom we will also refer to as the Incredible Hulk. But remember, I mentioned that Bruce Banner can turn into at least 7 different types of Hulk and the Incredible Hulk is just one of them. So who are these other Hulks? Well, a Hulk is a manifestation of Bruce Banner's personality and its psyche. Different versions of Hulk are associated with Banner's different personalities and emotions. For example, the Incredible Hulk happens to be associated with Bruce Banner's rage and anger. And as we all know, angrier this Hulk gets, the stronger he becomes. And then we have the Guild Hulk, who is some 20 meters tall, making him the biggest Hulk. And as the name suggests, Guild Hulk is associated with Banner's guilt and remorse for his past wrongdoings. Guilt Hulk is terrifying and a straight up horrifying monster. But the cool thing about the Guilt Hulk is that he can breathe fire and possibly he has more base strength than the Savage Hulk. Like most of people, Bruce Banner too has a dark side and the Hulk associated with the evil side of Banner is called the Devil Hulk. This version of Hulk too is a straight up monster who wants to destroy everything that Banner loves and holds dear. Devil Hulk packs an intimidating appearance and has higher base strength than Savage Hulk. And if that wasn't enough, he also has the intelligence of Bruce Banner. This dangerous combination of over-the-top strength mingled with more than impressive intelligence and lack of any morality whatsoever makes the Devil Hulk one of the most vicious Hulks out there. Another prominent version of Hulk is called the Grey Hulk. Associated with Banner's cunning and witty side, he is the smallest version of the Hulk and probably also the weakest. But he makes up for his strength with his uncanny wit and crafty manipulations. Grey Hulk has flexible moral boundaries, to say the least. He has no problems doing morally ambiguous things that Bruce Banner himself will never do. Needless to say, Grey Hulk is smarter and more reasonable than the Savage Green Hulk, because of which he rarely loses control. At one point, he even takes the name of Joe Fixit and runs an underground gang of his own in Las Vegas. Grey Hulk is a fascinating character, that's for sure, and it would be awesome to see this version of Hulk make an appearance in the MCU. All these Hulks that we talked about, that is the Savage Hulk, Grey Hulk, Guilt Hulk and Devil Hulk, exist inside Banner's head and they are always trying to gain control of his body. It just happens that Green Savage Hulk and Grey Hulk have the strongest presence in Banner's mind. So most of the times when Banner hulks out, he turns into either Savage Hulk or the Grey Hulk. Again to be clear, it doesn't mean that in real life Savage Hulk is the strongest Hulk. Actually Devil Hulk undoubtedly has more base strength than either Savage Hulk or the Grey Hulk. But Banner has never allowed himself to turn into Guilt or Devil Hulk, as the consequences of that would have been beyond catastrophic both for him and the world. So Bruce has tried his best to keep these evil Hulks locked away in his subconscious. Inside Banner's mind, these Hulks are often fighting and are continuously in disagreement. We got a glimpse of that in Avengers Infinity War when Banner and Savage Hulk were in disagreement and Savage Hulk no longer wanted to help Banner. So in Avengers Endgame, they come to an agreement and we get the Professor Hulk, who has the mind of the Banner and brawn of the Hulk. It is important to note here that Professor Hulk is a separate personality of his own and is more intelligent than normal Bruce Banner, but he is not so strong as the Savage Hulk. 
and since Professor Hulk is a very calm character, he has trouble getting angry enough which limits his strength. And in comics, Professor Hulk has this safeguard that if he gets too angry, he will revert back to his normal banner form which further limits Professor Hulk's upper capabilities. The Incredible Hulk 2 can exist in various states. Just like Captain Marvel's binary form that we saw in her solo movie and then again in Endgame, in her binary form Captain Marvel is considerably more powerful which is evident from the fact that in Endgame she took a punch from Thanos and didn't even flinch. Likewise, the Incredible Hulk 2 can all glow up with gamma radiations and this state of his has a name of its own called the Worldbreaker Hulk. Needless to say, this Hulk is literally capable of destroying everything and anything that stands in his way. Just consider the fact that his steps were enough to destroy all of North America. Yeah, you heard that right. Just normal steps of Worldbreaker Hulk would have destroyed an entire continent. And if that's not bonkers, then I don't know what is. And if Worldbreaker Hulk wasn't crazy enough for you, then we also have the Hulk's Hulk, also known as Claw, which is basically Hulk spelled backwards. So what is Claw? Well, when Bruce Banner turns angry, he transforms into Incredible Hulk. And as Hulk gets angrier, he gets stronger and stronger. And if you make him too angry, then we have the Worldbreaker Hulk. But if Incredible Hulk turns sad, he transforms into Claw, or at least he did one time. Claw has a separate personality of his own, just like Hulk and Banner. Claw also has higher base strength than the Incredible Hulk. And till now in the Marvel comics, he has only appeared once. And when he did, he defeated Scarlet Witch, Thor, Wasp and Captain America. Claw is not a hero like the Incredible Hulk, but rather is a villainous character just like Guilt Hulk or Devil Hulk. And even though he says that he's Hulk's Hulk, it is more likely that he too exists somewhere in Banner's unconscious. And when the Incredible Hulk was sad, Claw was able to take control of the body. In case you are wondering what would happen if Worldbreaker Hulk turned into Claw, will that be the most powerful version of Hulk, Worldbreaker Claw? Well, I don't necessarily think that that's how things will turn out. If Worldbreaker Hulk changed into Claw, it would be just the normal version of Claw. Since Claw is a separate personality, just like when Worldbreaker Hulk changes back into Banner, we get back the normal Banner, not some Super Soldier Bruce Banner. So to sum things up, Bruce Banner had severe personality disorder and all these various Hulks exist inside his mind trying to gain control of his body. The Incredible Hulk and the Grey Hulk have the strongest presence inside Banner's mind, so they are the ones who often manifest themselves in the real world. Devil Hulk and Guilt Hulk are stronger than the Incredible Hulk, but inside Banner's mind, even Bruce Banner's own identity is able to defeat them, which is one of the reasons why we have never seen Guilt Hulk and Devil Hulk come out. But at one point an evil version of Hulk did come out, known as Claw, but he was eventually defeated by Scarlet Witch and Doctor Doom with the help of the other heroes. So yeah, that's it for today. So I hope this video gives you an overall bigger picture of the Hulk. Once again, thanks for watching and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for upcoming videos.